Ah, ça Mike Staley Podcast. FF episode 1553 and welcome to Mike Staley Podcast located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Mont, the last place on earth. Cafe anyway. Today we hear from Shelly Schuhart, Floyd the floor man, John Deere the engineer. I'd like to say something at the beginning of this show and that is to people that are listening to financial media or listening to Mike's Daily Podcast. If you listen to, if you get news from a particular place and they say to you Mike's Daily Podcast. Well, if they say to you Mike's Daily Podcast, then I guess you're listening to this show, but this is something that I want you to know. And that is if you are watching like some 11 o'clock news or whatever, and they come on and they do something and they say, uh, to, to Heather, maybe your name's Heather. Mike's Daily Podcast. Heather. Yesterday, the stock market had a bloodbath. If they use bloodbath describing Mike's the stock market, daily I warn you podcast. that you are listening to a very bad yeah. or watching a very bad news station because they are basically overblowing it. They are uh, sensationalizing. And if they're sens- sensationalizing the stock market, what else are they sensationalizing? My question there was uh, because basically the Dow, the Dow, the Dow, they call it the Dow, right? So it's already got down in its name. Dow, down has Dow. It, it went down 4% yesterday, but it was up 6% in January. So we're basically where we were in November of last year. So it was not a bloodbath. So shut up. Hey, look who walked in. Hello, Mike Matthews. It's Shelly Stewart, gift shop supervisor. Oh my God! Somebody walked in and interrupted me. Oh, Mike, this is Floyd the Floorman, and this is John Deere the engineer. You are very good at explaining things this morning, Mike. Thank you. Yes, I have tried so hard to say one simple thought, and it was difficult for me because it's early and it's 5:40 in the morning, and I had a fun time. Walking with Basil the Boxer yesterday And my friends that also have dogs We actually I ran into Albert Who has his little chihuahua And oh I got to walk And here's today's podcast picture Bailey, Bailey and Basil have known each other For at least six years A long time, a big chunk of most of their lives They've known each other So the podcast picture today is of Basil looking out at Monterey and I I can't believe I took this picture because I didn't even realize I was taking it at the time but it's a perfect little picture of Basil looking at the pier in Monterey and the little marina there so check that out at mikesdailypodcast.com where you can also help out the show through the Amazon link click on that and buy whatever it is you're going to buy and that helps us out thank you for doing that and uh, wait what did I just say was I talking about Amazon or PayPal I don't know there's ways to help out the show at mikesdailypodcast.com. You can see the podcast picture there. I don't do a good job promoting this show. When people ask me, oh, you have a podcast? What's it called? Mike's Daily Podcast. Oh, and then it just hangs in the air and I don't do anything with it. I just don't even promote it or any. I've always been a bad promoter. Thus, I am here podcasting to you now. And I am I am Mike. And I'm, oh, I'm so puffy today. Oh, I don't know what I, I think I need to lay off the, uh, what was I eating? That was just probably not good for me. Somebody brought croissants to the station, croissants. And I speak French. I just showed you with my saying croissant. I'm French. Why do you think I have this outrageous accent? You silly king. I had a delicious croissant and I, you know, they're probably not the best for you, but Hey, I try and stay healthy. I got my smoothie going on here at cafe anyway, and I've got my delicious uh, smoothies, got the strawberries. All this is strawberries, banana, and a little bit of flaxseed water. Bam. Done. I don't add anyway, cafe anyway, anyway, I don't add like milk or cream or anything. I don't buy milk. I'm so, I don't know why I'm puffy today, but. Uh, I'm retaining water 
Yeah. So I'm bad at promoting the show. People go, what's the show? What do you talk about? What is it about? And I don't know what to say. If you have a suggestion, email me, mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. I expect to get an email from you that says in capital letters, nothing. Mike talks about nothing, but that's fine. And then the, uh, or you can call me actually, 336-MM-DAILY. That's 336-MM-DAILY because it's a daily show and my initials are MM for Mike Matthews. (laughs) Oh, they just got how my name is. Wonderful. Okay. So Trump has this huge ego. It's ginormous. Big. Oh. Ginormous. Really, really big. So big, in fact, you'd say it's huge. Uh, but it it's so big, in fact, that he knows this Mueller investigation is going on. He knows he's got all this that that that, that people are doing investigations. Because, hey, guess what? You ran for president. Everybody does investigations on everybody that runs for president, and especially when there's the, the all this stuff going on with Russia. Well, it it comes down to you had a guy. On your campaign named Carter Page, who was all kinds of crazy, all kinds of, had all these th- connections to the Russians. Don't even try to defend Carter Page if you're in the conservative pro Trump uh, camp, because th- he's just. Uh, Are you crazy? Yeah, totally crazy. And I. Oh. I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy like that. You know what I mean? So he's nuts. And he's got these connections with Russia. And the FBI, who, okay, I'm not, this is the weird thing. This, the, the, the fence moved around. Because usually Democrats are not defending the FBI. Because the FBI is doing things like going after Hillary. And they're, you know, they. I'm now back to being an activist citizen and part of the resistance. And the FBI tried to bring down Martin Luther King and all this other stuff, this crazy conspiracy. Uh, well, not that s- stuff was true, but yeah. So it, it moved around. All of a sudden, the Republicans are anti FBI. And Comey himself, who was a Republican. It makes me mildly nauseous. That's the thing he said that he could have, the rest of that quote, could have influenced the election in any way. But he did. And yeah, so things flipped around. So it's a strange time that we're in. And the, but a lot of it has to do with, you know, the, the memo, the Republican memo was released because of Trump's ego. Because he's like, the, uh, and he even talked about it at that. Was it um, some plant? And was he in Minnesota yesterday where he said, oh, we really got him this time. Oh, yeah. It's all about the whole world is coming after him. And he's, he's got this ego, and you can't have one little blemish on it. So it's causing that. But it is interesting to hear Republicans saying, we're all about civil liberties. It's all about civil liberties. That's why we're going after the FBI right now, because the FBI needs to be reformed. Whatever. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to take out the whole... Okay, let's just all of a sudden say Trump's the best president ever. All right? And and try not to laugh. Let's look beyond this. What's going to happen? Okay, first off, the Congress, House of Republicans, I mean representatives, whoops, Freudian slip, they are going to try and reform the FBI. And we'll see how that goes over the next couple of years. The Mueller investigation will end. Sometime this year, it has to. Otherwise, even Democrats are going to be like, come on, Mueller. You've taken forever. Wrap this thing up. What are you doing over there? Mueller. Bueller. Mueller. Bueller. Mueller. Bueller. Okay. Bueller. It's got to wrap up. So, okay. Now he's got this blotch on him because of this whole... Memo coming out Oh and the Democrat memo comes out By the time you hear this You might know all about What the Democrats had to say uh, About that That same Mueller that Nunez I mean uh, Memo Memo Mueller 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 Memo Memo memo, memo, That that Nunez went after So you're going to hear The Democrats side And that'll make for a whole Interesting show next show But What's going to happen is The FBI 
is going to get uh, a lot, lot more lawsuits. People going to sue the FBI for all kinds of things. Hey, they said this about me. Okay, we're going to get the people that maybe were innocent that were that the FBI went after. They're going to come out of the woodwork. And then the people that are bat bleep crazy, they're going to come out of the woodwork and go, Oh, FBI said this about me. I never molested anyone. And that's going to become a whole... Yeah, so this is what that's going to turn into with the FBI. Not that the FBI doesn't get their own... They get lawsuits all the time anyway. Cafe anyway. But still... This is going to be a lot more. Anyway. And it's going to be a lot of this. And a lot of that. So, more, uh, there's going to be more selling today. And that's all I have to say about the stock market. I have a financial advisor because I know I would know the first thing to do with stocks. But I, I do own some stocks. Or I did. I think I've, I've seen that my <laughs> financial advisor is doing some mooing around stuff. So I don't know what I own, but Hugh Hewitt, the conservative talk show host who I once met. Not Mike Gallagher, who was here last week, but Hugh Hewitt. He said, well, he wasn't here at Cafe anyway. He was at my radio station. He said that this is going to be a day a lot of people are going to buy into the FANG stocks. We're talking Facebook, Amazon, Google... Netflix, um, Apple, that kind of thing. Pence says that the uh, Winter Olympics mission should keep the heat on North Korea. His six-day swing through Asia, anchored by a stop at the Winter Olympics in South Korea, he said is set to focus less on sports than the host country's bellicose... Oh, bellicose neighbor to the north is what he said. Then snow caused hundreds of crashes and five were killed on Missouri roads. That sound, of course, coming from five people died, 650 crashes on snow covered Missouri roads. Uh, 50 vehicles collided on a freeway in Iowa. The Missouri State Highway Patrol said the crashes started on Sunday afternoon as snow began falling. Less than two inches accumulated, but the snow was treacherous because temperatures dropped from the high 30s to the single digits throughout the day. The initial amount of light snow that melted on the roads froze as temperatures hit the freezing point. The roads went from wet to icy very quickly, and once the water on the roads froze... The snow that was falling began sticking, making it even slicker. I don't even know how I would drive. I would just pull off the side of the road. But, you know, you want to go home because you're cold. And, you know, you power through it. And, oh. Well, speed cameras are a fact of life these days. Ohio Village might someday pay back $3 million to drivers ticketed by speed cameras. We had a bunch of speed cameras and stoplight cameras in the Bay Area and suddenly a bunch of them vanished and I don't know the whole story behind that because I think that happened just as I moved here nine years ago but there was something like way too many tickets being handed out people fly through red lights all the time here but it's uh, I think you know lawsuits happen and I don't know cafe I don't know but speed cameras are a fact of life these days this article says uh, they are prone to abuse In New Miami, Ohio The cameras were so blatantly rigged That a judge ordered the village To pay back some $3 million in fines A few weeks ago An appeals court judge handed another victory To the drivers saying that New Miami speed cameras amounted to Unjust enrichment And also denied drivers due process The ruling means among other things That New Miami is quickly running out Of legal options By the way I own some stock That I bought a long time ago When I worked for Cumulus And I just never sold it And it kept dropping and dropping Now Cumulus is bankrupt And I get this legal document In the mail telling me Yeah uh, you know Cumulus owes you money And you need to get a lawyer to get the money And so yeah, that's exciting. Stupid cumulus going bankrupt. One of the biggest co- radio. Uh, they, they own all these radio stations. They own like t- 
10 radio stations in San Francisco and they go bankrupt? Crazy. Olympic organizers battle a spread of the norovirus that is happening too. The Pyongyang, Pyong, oh sorry, Pyeongchang Winter Olympics are on track through organizers. Are, although organizers are battling the spread of a virus among staff and preparing to deal with the cold snap at Friday's opening ceremony, what is happening there? Spotify is about to become public, their stock. It could suffer as Apple Music is becoming more the most, or yeah, it says the most popular U.S. streaming service. Did you know? And Pandora is leaving o- Oakland. And moving to Atlanta They're not doing so well Someone told me you need to get a job with Pandora And nope Maybe not the best idea The battle between Spotify and Apple Music has raged for almost three years But one company has emerged as a clear winner in the US Apple's streaming music service is set to overtake Spotify Among paid subscribers in America According to the Wall Street Journal And this could be a setback for Spotify Which is going to go public later this year I still do not have either a Spotify account or an Apple Music account. I have a Slacker account. I have a Pandora account, which I never use. And mostly I, listen, I like to listen to internet radio, the, the really obscure ones, because I like to see what the DJs throw out on the turntables. Police, man, police say a man sh- shot himself fatally outside of a New York City hall. He drove up to a gate there and then shot himself. Um, at 7.30 a.m. yesterday. Hmm. A chaos at Newsweek. Top editors are suddenly out there. Did you ever read Newsweek? Newsweek magazine? I think my dad used to subscribe to it. It was all nice and flashy inside. Very colorful. Even in the 80s. Very colorful magazine. Then they stopped publishing it. And then it went online. And things just don't seem to be good. Going good for them. Uh, Staff in Newsweek's New York offices were told to stop working and go home for the day yesterday afternoon. Huh. And the Super Bowls... Now, I'm running out of time. I gotta wrap this up. The Department of Homeland Security documents critiquing the response to a simulated anthrax attack. The... What they were gonna do in case that happened... During the Super Bowl on Sunday Were marked for official use only And important for national security But those documents were left on a plane Um, And so Also uh, McCain uh, Senator McCain uh, To do a new Bipartisan immigration plan Uh, McCain Of course battling uh, Cancer isn't it And he is still he is fighting it and and being a, a strong politician, a public service, being in service to the public, to the people, even as his health is uh, it's hard for him these days. You know what I'm trying to say. The dude is strong. He's a tough dude, tough guy, doing what he can to help out. Uh, uh, America and the immigration plan and that story just vanished so I won't go into that and we're out of time as we go outside a cafe anyway we're bringing Mike's daily podcast somewhere in podcast Valley. stocks are headed for another drop at the open as the global markets plunge and um, that and work in Washington grind to a to grinds to plod a mid memo battle uh, slowed As the House Intelligence Committee disagreements over the Russia probe again bled into public view. And President Donald Trump spent the day accusing Democrats of serious crimes. That's what's going on in D.C. Next show, it is going to be the wonderful Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. Thanks for listening to this wondrous podcast today. And promote my show for me because I apparently can't do it very well. Thank you. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.